Hello, creators. Welcome back to Rendora Academy. In this lesson, we'll learn how to upload and edit your assets to ensure they look great on screen. Rendora offers two methods for uploading assets. Method one, upload multiple assets at once to the asset library on the left. Then drag and drop them into the relevant segments for use. Method two, select a segment, click upload, and individually upload the corresponding asset. In Rendora, different scenes come with different screen ratios. For example, the ultra-wide screen ratio of a large stage is 3 by 1. The standard horizontal screen is 16 by 9. And the standard vertical screen is 9 by 16. If the ratio of your uploaded asset doesn't fit well with the screen, Rendora will automatically apply a blur effect to fill the background. However, you can use the asset editing feature to adjust the composition and achieve the best full screen display. For instance, if your image is a 4x3 photo taken on a phone and you need to adjust it to match the 16x9 screen ratio. Hover over the segment with your mouse, click edit to enter the editing space. Select the asset track at the bottom and then click cover on the right. This will automatically scale the asset to fill the screen. Of course, you can also manually adjust the zoom and reposition the image to compose it. The cropping tool in the lower left corner allows you to automatically choose a crop ratio. Once the asset editing is complete, click apply to apply the effect. You might have encountered this situation. Get out and let the professionals take over. In any fire situation, the video continues to play even after the voiceover finishes. Why does this happen? Let's click edit to enter the editing space. Here, you'll see that the video's length exceeds the voiceover's duration, which is why the entire video plays before moving to the next segment. You can select the video and drag its edges to trim the excess, or click split to cut the video from the middle. You can also use the speed adjustment feature to lengthen or shorten the video to match the voiceover. There's another situation where the voiceover hasn't finished, but the video freezes on the last frame. This happens because the duration of your video is shorter than the voiceover, so the last frame is used to fill the remaining voiceover time, making it appear stuck. To fix this, click Add Clip in the top left and upload a new video. Then, select the newly uploaded video, click OK, and drag it to the timeline on the left. Finally, trim any extra length to match the voiceover. If you want to adjust the volume of the video asset, simply click the small speaker icon on the segment. That's all for this lesson. For more creation tips, see you in the next session.